Hi, my name is Melissa, and on today's video, I'm going to show you my new Epicool um, CF35 portable refrigerator, 37 quarts. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are watching this video, then perhaps you are also interested in this same cooler. So, um, you might be asking yourself, well, you know, what would I use this cooler for? Well, this refrigerator is designed to, um, for like traveling in your vehicle, boats, your RVs, and you know, you could use it in your home too. And it just helps keep everything cool while you're traveling. Um, you can hook it up to your car. Um, you could hook it up in your house. But anyway, we're going to go through the steps and I'm going to uh, put this all together and um, just kind of run through the, the cooler itself. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how much um, power it's going to take from, um, what is that thing? <laughs> um, my Jackery. So I've already unboxed it and I will show you the, um, the Apicool 35 and we'll kind of just go over it together. But um, the purpose of this is so I can see how much power it will take from my Jackery straight from the box and hooking it up to the, um, to the Jackery. I mean, you might ask yourself, you know, well, why don't you just hook it up in your house? Okay, well, yeah, I could do that and go ahead and get it cooled down. But I just want to see that, um, you know, maybe, dog, maybe you, you know, are out somewhere and you're interested in this product, product as well. And you don't have the um, advantage of being able to hook it up into your home. So let me get everything kind of set up for you. My dog is bumping the tripod. Um, so anyway, um, not interesting enough for you? Anyway. All right, let me get this all set up. And we'll hook it up to the Jackery with 100% power. And um, I'm going to put it on the timer. And we'll see how long it takes for it to actually cool down and how much power it takes from my Jackery. So hang on. Okay, this is the Apicool 35 and it just came in yesterday. So we're gonna take a look over it and, and check it out. The controllers are over here. And there's a hinge for it. I'm not sure how I feel about that exactly. It's kind of plastic, but it seems sturdy enough. All right, let's have a basket inside. I do like that it has this chain pull on it, and it's not plastic. And I believe these are my components that I need to hook it all up. So let's put the Jackery up here. As you can see, this is the Jackery 240. Let's turn it on. I'm at 100%. Here are all the cords and adapters. Okay, so here's what I figured out. You have this end here, which has the cigarette adapter on this side. And then you have this piece here, which also has this connector. So what I realized is these connectors, these two, actually fit in into the the cooler so if you want to run it straight into your cigarette adapter you would use this one hook this into your cooler and then run this into your your cigarette adapter and if you want to use your household cord you take this piece you plug this one into your cooler and then this attaches to here for this demonstration, I think I'm just going to use this this piece because I have this option on my Jackery. All right, so I'm going to get these guys hooked up, and we'll see what uh, kind of power it takes. Okay, it is now hooked up into the Apicool, and now I'm going to hook it into the Jackery. Hang on, this might take two hands. All right, got it hooked into the Jackery, and I'm going to turn it on, and we're showing at 100%, and the cooler just kicked on, so we'll come over here, let's turn it on, 
it's set at 73 and I think I want it down to 60 no I'm sorry 32 oh that's negative four we don't want negative four all right we're gonna set it at, at 32 and it's at max max cooling for it to cool down you know um but let's go to I think these are settings we don't want I don't want it to go in max we're gonna do it in eco mode and what I want to know is how much power and how long it will take let's see if I let it go for let's say we'll let it run for 30 minutes and I want to see you know where it's at in 30 minutes so all right we'll check back in after a while and see what the status is for me it's going to be 30 minutes but for you it'll be just a matter of minutes all right well it did not take 30 minutes it was actually less than 30 minutes i have seven minutes to spare on my timer so let's see what we have and uh, i'm actually quite impressed so i'm not going to give it away just yet so hang on i'll show you all right as you can see i still have 95 percent left on my jackery and it's been less than 30 minutes and the temperature is now 29 degrees let's see how cool it is in there it is it's nice and cool I'm gonna let it keep running I like that it's got this insulated part right here can you see this so I mean this will actually go into freezer mode too so I can I, mean, I can take it down cooler and then has a shallow section right up here for, you know, condiments or if you don't want it real cold, you just put it up here. I do like that it has this nice little LED light. It has compartments in the bottom down here if you want to put bigger bottles, maybe wine bottles if you're a wine drinker. If not, whatever you want to put down there. The basket comes in and out. I do like that. seems pretty sturdy I looked at some reviews on these things and they were saying that these were plastic but this does not feel like plastic to me it feels like metal this part is plastic but this part feels like metal so there we are I'm gonna let this sorry about the dog okay well so far I'm satisfied I'm going to uh, unhook it from the Jackery and I'm going to let it just continuing, continue cycling through <coughs> dogs. I apologize. So anyway, I'm going to let it keep its it cooling. And so I have a, a road trip planned coming up. So that was the reason why I wanted this. I mean, I have a Yeti cooler. It's great. I mean, I didn't have to get ice, but like every, every two days or so, maybe three, if I really extended it, but you know, after a while, that kind of gets old. You like pick up this Yeti cooler and get the ice and water out of it, and you know, then your stuff's all soggy inside. So that was the purpose for me to get a refrigerator, freezer type cooler. So when I'm traveling in my Forerunner, I can have a place to store my food. Photo bomb. Photo bomb. <laughs> so anyway, so it was so I could have a place to store my food that you know would allow it to stay cool. And I mean, I don't need anything to, to freeze anything I mean, because, you know, basically it'd just be like, you know, maybe three, four days supply at a time. And, you know, that way my food doesn't have time to even spoil. So that's, that's kind of that. But anyway, so like I said, I have a trip planned coming up. I'm heading out actually this weekend and my first stop will be Tennessee. I won't say where in Tennessee, I'll be in Tennessee. And then I plan to shoot on up to Virginia and both of which I'm going to go see friends that I know. So I'm still kind of like trying to get out of that comfort zone and, and go to some places that, you know, I can car camp in the forerunner. Then I don't have to go spend money at a motel or, you know, go stay at somebody's house. But so that's what's coming up in the plans. And that was one of the reasons why I got the cooler so I can, you know, be able to eat a little better out of the car and not just go to fast food places or anything like that. So, um, 
So in the next videos, uh, I'll show you how I have it set up in the Forerunner. And I'm still trying to configure out how I want everything in there too. So, uh, But yeah, we're going to see how this fits in the Forerunner. This is about the same size as my Yeti. About the same size. It might be just a little smaller, but it's not It's not that much smaller. Um, it's not that heavy. I think maybe maybe around 25 pounds, maybe. It, but it's light enough that I can handle it. So, All right, so um, what else? What was I saying? Road trip. Okay, so if you are wanting to get out and go explore a little bit farther and get away or whatever, and you know, this might be a product that you would be interested in. So if you are, you let me know um, what you use and how you like it. And if there's anything that could be done different or if you're happy with yours, um, please let me know. Let me know. Um, I will leave a link to this in the description box below. So go check it out. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to bore you with all the specs of what this cooler is. Um, but so far, I am happy with it. We'll know the true test once I get it out on the road and we see how well it works. So stay tuned. Adventures are coming and I'll see you out there on the road or I'll see you on the videos. So. Dogs. Gotta love them. She's my companion. She will be going with me. Where are you, little girl? She says no. I'm not having this video moment. Then look at her. She sits so ladylike. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that'll be my travel companion. My photo bomb buddy. He smolders. Alright. Enough of me. Um, like I said, if you if you um if you have any suggestions or if you have the same cooler or if you're interested in this cooler, please comment below and let me know. Um, your thoughts, your inputs, um, and I'll let you know how it's working for me. Vice versa, you know, kind of share each other a little bit of feedback. So looking forward to hearing from you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll answer anything you need to know or you might just be curious to know. So you guys stay tuned for the next video on the road.